Kingslayer here, rcgroups.com, with the new Spectrum S155 Smart Charger. In the first video of this series, we did the setup for the S155. In the second video, we charged a normal, non-smart battery. In this video, we're going to charge four different smart batteries. A 4-cell G1 LiPo, a 4-cell G2 LiPo, a 3-cell G1 LiPo, and a 2-cell G1 LIFE battery. Let's see how well the Spectrum S155 Smart Charger handles changing back and forth between these different battery packs. The charger is plugged in, and it now shows the Charger Ready screen. For our first charging session, we'll be charging a Smart 4-cell G1 LiPo 2200 mAh 30C pack. G1 smart batteries have a balance connector as well as an IC style power connector. The first step is to plug in the balance connector. The black connector and the black port can be a bit hard to see so take a little extra time and be sure the balance lead is inserted correctly. Once the balance lead is inserted the S155 display will show individual cell voltage values for the pack. Next, we'll need to insert the power lead into the S155 charger. Once the power lead is inserted, the charger automatically begins charging the battery. The display screen shows initiating smart charging. It's really that simple. Just plug a smart battery into this smart charger and it begins charging. If you look at the display, it shows the exact data for this particular smart battery. The pictorial battery shows a percentage of charge and there's a numeric percentage shown as well. Immediately below that is a perfect description of this battery. It shows that it's a LiPo battery, that it has four cells, that it's rated for 2200 milliamp hours, and that it's a 30C rated battery. The lower portion of the display shows that the S155 charger is charging the battery at 2.2 amps. The center area shows the capacity charge so far, and the right area shows the charge time remaining for this operation is going to be 44 minutes. All of this magic occurs because the Spectrum S155 smart charger can talk to the smart batteries over the balance and power connectors. All we have to do is plug them in. Here's the charger after 20 minutes. It's still charging away and keeping track of all the data. Here we are at 39 minutes and the charge is complete. 39 minutes is a little less than the projected 44, but 44 wasn't a bad estimate. The charger display shows the battery needed 1,341 milliamp hours of energy to get to a full charge. Remember, all we did was plug in this battery pack and watch the S155 charger do all the heavy lifting. Next up, we have a 3-cell 1300 milliamp hour G1 Smart LiPo battery pack. I previously programmed this pack on another smart charger for a 3C fast charge rate of 3.9 amps. Let's see what happens when we plug this pack into the Spectrum S155 Smart Charger. We've unplugged the previous battery and the S155 charger is now showing the charge ready screen. When we plug in the balance lead the individual cell voltages are displayed and when we plug in the IC3 power connector the charger starts the charge process. The display once again shows the exact battery data for this pack. It shows the special 3.9 amp charge rate and an estimated 17 minute charge time. The S155 charger has selected the proper battery chemistry, it's adjusted for the proper number of cells in this pack, and it's read the special charge rate. All we had to do was plug the smart battery into the S155 smart charger. Okay, let's try something completely different. Let's charge a 2-cell 2200 milliamp hour G1 smart LIFE battery pack. 
We've unplugged the previous 1300 milliamp hour battery and the S155 charger is back to the charger ready screen. When we plug the balance lead into the S155 charger, the display shows the cell voltage for each battery cell. When we plug the power lead into the charger, it begins the charge process and the display shows the information for this particular LIFE battery pack. It shows the chemistry is LIFE and the cell count as 2. The battery capacity is shown as 2200 milliamp hours and the C rating is 15 C. The charge rate showing 2.2 amps and the charge time is estimated to be 44 minutes. The Spectrum S155 Smart Charger successfully read this very different battery pack's information and changed the charging parameters to match this exact battery's needs. All these adjustments were made in the blink of an eye and all we had to do was plug the smart battery into the S155 charger. This is so easy. Next smart battery is a 4 cell G2 2200 milliamp hour LiPo pack. G2 smart batteries do not have a balance lead. They only have a power lead with an IC style connector. We've unplugged the LIFE battery and the S155 charger is now showing the charger ready screen. As soon as we plug the power connector of this G2 smart battery into the S155 smart charger, the charge process begins. The display shows initiating smart charging and then all the battery data for this particular battery is displayed on the screen. The S155 has switched to LiPo chemistry and is charging the 4 cell pack at 2.2 amps. The estimated charging time is shown as 33 minutes. Let's skip ahead and watch the end of this charge. Here we see the charge rates down to 1.9 amps and there are less than 5 minutes remaining. Fast charging finished at 28 minutes and the balance charge phase completed 30 seconds later. Alright, let's review what we've accomplished today. We've successfully charged four different smart batteries, one right after the other. We've charged two cell, three cell, and four cell battery packs. We charge both G1 and G2 smart battery packs. We charge LiPo and LIFE battery packs. We did all of this without once touching the buttons on the Spectrum S155 smart charger. We just plugged in the batteries, one after the other, and the S155 did all the rest. This Spectrum Smart technology is truly amazing. Well, this wraps up part three on charging smart batteries with the Spectrum S155 smart charger. Check out part four to learn how to use the S155 charger to program the smart functions on smart battery packs. Check it out.